What's poppin' air gunners? This is Denny, the flat broke air gunner. Uh, we're gonna discuss a, a thing I saw on YouTube. I can't remember who posted the video. There's a bunch of different posters, but let me say this straight off from the beginning. This is for an air gun. This is not for a rifle. It's specifically made out of stuff that will be destroyed by a firearm. Do not get yourself in any trouble making something like this. Check your laws and ordinances in your city. Uh, it's purposely designed for an air gun. Now that that's out of the way, this is the stuff you're going to need. You need a funnel, different types of PVC, depending on the size of the barrel you have. If you take the moderator or the end of your barrel off, you could usually figure out about the proper size that you'll need for this part. Uh, you need duct tape, a pool floaty, small knife, some pegboard that you can get at the local hardware store, JB Weld, a marker, I used sandpaper, and a hacksaw, which isn't here, but you know what a hacksaw is, and some felt. And that's all the, the things you need to get started. So what you do is you cut this down to the size that you want it and the size that will fit inside. And when you get the size together that you need or want, then you put tape on the back of it so that it will snug in and fit properly and snugly and when you get it all together push it all down you take the the funnel and you want to cut out a small section that would be right through there right in the middle and that is so that your suppressor or moderator doesn't look like a soup can sticking off the end of your gun when you put it all together this will go on and it will all slide together and come together like that. You take the pool floaty and your PVC and you put it on there like that. Trace around it with your Sharpie marker so that you have a marking on it and you know it's centered and everything like that. Then you take your handy dandy triple uh, X case knife, go down the side and you go cut off strips like that and you can see that's undone and that's cut and once you get it down then you can just gently scrape like that and it will remove stuff so it will fit in there so once you get all that done I put the whole thing inside the tube and stuck it out at different intervals and cut it right off the top of the tube so it made it easier and the cuts were straight once I got the first set of baffles finished which are these, I realized I had made them very poorly. The stitching is terrible. Uh, I used a washcloth, and the, the fabric was so flimsy that I figured after so many shots, it would just fall apart. So I put crazy glue on it, and then I realized that I'm just really making a mess out of something that you know should be a lot better. So I decided to take all the stuff with washcloths. It's garbage. So... And I saw another video where a guy said, just take the, the sound buffer stuff and uh, stagger the size of the holes on the inside of it. And when you put that in there, the different sizes in the holes will help to muffle out the sound. Well, I kind of messed with that a little bit. And then after looking at it, that just looks like a handful of garbage. So that's gone too. So we got rid of that stuff. And then finally, this is the final project. We went and picked up some felt which is, you know, nice quality felt, uh, did some proper stitching, got it all together, got a nice size hole in the middle, got it all cut out so that the pellet will trash, pass through. Now you take the finished product. I beveled the edges and kept them white so that there would be a little different colorization than just a flat black can. You put everything in it. They all will fit in snugly and slide down. And then you take this, which is the homemade end piece, which you needed that part for. And I drilled holes around the edge just for a little more venting on the exhaust. And you tap that in. Now you take the two-part JB Weld epoxy, mix it together, and add a ring around there and let it all dry. And there you go. This is made specifically for my gauntlet air gun. Uh, if I move all this stuff out of the way 
and grab the gauntlet real quick. Oof. Take it out of the old trusty homemade rifle rack. <laughs> Take it out. Go like that with one piece of duct tape on there as a shim. This slides snugly and smoothly right on. So as you can see, when it's all done, that's the finished product and turned out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy. We're uh, just showing today how we made it. We're not going to do any testing of it yet today. Um, again, this is not for a firearm. This is specifically designed for an air gun. And this same method could be used with a smaller diameter pipe in the back to work on smaller diameter barrels like this one. And uh, I will be making my cameraman one of these for his gun, which is a Benjamin Prowler Nitro. And uh, we'll test his along with the um, Umarex Gauntlet and see how everything works out. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Always be a straight shooter. Always wear your safety glasses when you're shooting, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.